A local man arrested, charged in a music fraud scheme. He's bringing attention to artificial intelligence. Yeah, authorities say he used automatic features to stream AI songs billions of times, stealing royalties from musicians. WCNC Charlotte's Julie Kay tells us what happened and how local musicians are reacting. The musicians I spoke with are conflicted. On one hand, situations like this are incredibly frustrating. But on another hand, AI could be a really helpful tool for their industry. They both say the solution is more clear legislation. In Glen Tabor Studio. So you'll hear it in surround, sort of around you. Music sounds different. And we're sitting in an Atmos room, a Dolby Atmos room. Always on top of state-of-the-art technology. And now we're cutting in the computer world. But the state of this art changed immediately by artificial intelligence. I think the issue comes when we falsify accounts and then take that money. Just this month, a local man arrested for that crime. Authorities in New York charged Michael Smith of Cornelius with fraud and conspiracy after authorities say he created songs with AI and streamed them billions of times in order to steal royalties claiming he's stolen more than $10 million. When you have AI thrown into that mix, you're really stealing valid money from the artists that need it. And the push for legislation to prevent this falling flat. I think we need better laws and more and newer laws. Both at the federal and state level. It's a cat and mouse game, right? As you come with the new regulations, new policies, at the same time, AIs are getting better and bigger. As a professor of AI at UNC Charlotte, Hamid Topki is excited about the advances. But as a part-time musician, the boundaries are becoming a little bit blurred. He's worried. The danger is that you stop doing art. Though both have concerns, both say AI can be used for good and already is in their own music. I have more time to focus on creation and what really matters. We can take tools and clean up bad audio, clean up noisy audio, harsh environments. So while it might sound different, they say it's legislators that need to face the music. The indictment says he created thousands of accounts to continuously stream those songs, more than 660,000 streams a day. He faces up to 60 years in prison. In Charlotte, Julie K. WCNC Charlotte.